close vote, but a step forward for recreational marijuana. In the early morning hours today, just before 2 a.m., the Senate voted 19 to 17 to legalize adult cannabis. Chief political reporter Susan Raff is live at the state capitol. And Susan, this is certainly an important step, but it's not a done deal yet, right? Good afternoon, Kara. Yes, it is a very important first step, but it is not over yet. The House still needs to vote on this, and they're expected to do that, hopefully, in the next 24 hours or so, or maybe even tomorrow. But keep in mind, Connecticut, this bill has never gone through the legislature this far, so it is an important first step. As for the Senate, the vote finally came down around 2 o'clock in the morning. One Republican voted against this bill, and six Democrats also voted no. Going forward, the House Speaker said today that he believes they can get a vote in this session and that this bill on recreational marijuana will pass. And I think this is one of the most comprehensive cannabis bills, right? I mean, I think everybody tends to focus on we're just legalizing adult use cannabis, but there are a number of provisions in here that deal with addressing uh, issues related to youth and how we're going to ensure that we protect youth or limit the exposure for young people unto this. You know, there was a lot of discussion around equity. I think we have one of the most innovative ways at approaching the question of equity. Equity was a huge part of this legislation. Democrats who have been pushing this felt very strongly about that. And basically what it does is it gives people of color in neighborhoods that have been hit hard hit by crime and drugs the opportunity to get licenses in order to grow and sell marijuana. In fact, House Republicans had a press conference this morning. They said that they weren't necessarily against marijuana as a concept, but they don't like certain provisions in the bill when it comes to equity. Now, going forward, timing is very important important in all of this because the House is taking up the state budget today, which means they could take up recreational marijuana sometime tomorrow morning, but the session also ends tomorrow at midnight. Now, the House Speaker said today he does not want this to go to a special session and is confident that they can get recreational marijuana passed before the midnight deadline tomorrow. Keep in mind, there are some other bills out there, a very controversial mileage tax on tractor trailers that the governor is pushing, and we will have all the developments on that coming up on Eyewitness News starting at 4. For now, we're live at the State Capitol, Susan Raff, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.